आम आदमी पार्टी नेशनल कन्वेनर एंड दिल्ली सी एम अरविंद केजरीवाल अलॉन्ग विद पंजाब सी एम भगवत मान एंड अदर आप लीडर्स अराइव इन गोवा ऑन थर्सडे इवनिंग केजरीवाल विल मीट ऑल द लीडर्स वर्कर्स एंड पार्टी फंक्शनरीज एंड लीडर ड्यूरिंग द थ्री डे विजिट डिस्कशन विल बी हेल्ड ऑन सीट शेयरिंग एंड लोकसभा इलेक्शन प्रेपरेशन In a shocking incident, visitors frequenting Oshia Building Complex, which houses various government offices including the Town and Country Planning Department office, were astonished to find files belonging to the department lying dumped on a platform in an unused, dilapidated toilet of the building complex. The Oshia Complex in Margaon, which houses several government offices and commercial establishments, have come under scrutiny as hundreds of daily visitors expressed dissatisfaction with inadequate facilities and maintenance issues. Visitors have raised complaints about dirty bathrooms, pond stain staircases, a malfunctioning elevator, improper garbage disposal and waste water flow around the building. Water Resources Department WRD Minister Subhash Shirodkar has issued a warning to the public against releasing waste water into the open because it will seep below the surface and contaminate groundwater. He emphasized that such activities are a big cause of contamination of water in Goa. Pernam police executed a successful raid on the Boomerang Resort in Ashwem Mandrim leading to the rescue of two victims aged between 23 to 24 years from North India. The raid conducted on the evening of January 17, 2024 resulted in the arrest of the resort owner Mr Vijay Kumar Sarkar a 44 year old native of Jharkhand and his assistant Mr Ajit Kumar Jhaw hailing from Bihar. Smart City Corporation Managing Director Sanjit Rodriguez has said that Panjim has no choice but to replace the existing sewerage pipelines. He has assured of completing the major current works of Municipal Square Road, sewerage lines and other works by 31st January. Vendors at Mapsa Market have pulled down the shutters to their shops and assembled at the Mapsa Municipal Council office to stage a protest against the proposed increase in shop rent by the Mapsa Municipality. The vendors voiced their opposition through this morcha emphasizing the demand for a revocation of the rent hike. The Marga court has denied bail to Anurag Rajawat accused of the tragic deaths of his pregnant wife Shivani and her mother Jaydevi Chauhan. The tragic incident involved a vapor cloud explosion near Santoshi Mata temple in New Wade, Masco took place on November 18th. Residents from villages in the Newam constituency gathered on Thursday to address their grievances with the assistant engineer of the Public Works Department's PWD in South Goa. The primary concern voiced was the prolonged inactivity of traffic signals in Newam, posing a significant safety hazard for several months. Women representing different walks of life gathered at Panchim on Thursday to express solidarity with the women in the communities of Goa for proposing inclusivity of all gender. They highlighted that while women can be stakeholders in some communities daughters of gaunkers can be members of some communities too A sharp turn has emerged as hazardous spot for two wheeler riders primarily due to frequent diesel spills in Panjim near the KTC bus stand and Ambedkar Garden in Pato The overflow of diesel in the area has raised safety concern posing a potential threat to road users A two wheeler rider identified as Kitu Behra lost his life early Tuesday when struck by an SUV. The accused SUV driver Naresh Jain currently in judicial custody until January 30, 2024 had his bail application presented before the district judge in Mapsa on Thursday. The prosecution led by Ralston Barreto argued against bail citing section 304 and the accused awareness of driving under the influence supported by the provisional certificate in the case papers. The defense represented by advocate Michael Nazareth presented their case leading the judge to schedule further arguments for January 23rd with a directive to submit alcohol blood reports. Corporation of City of Panjim in collaboration with the social organization El Shaddai undertook a city-wide initiative to identify and assist homeless individuals on the streets of Panjim. The team gathered all homeless individuals and brought them to a designated area near CCP. Following a comprehensive medical checkup, El Shaddai committed to providing care and support to the homeless until suitable alternative arrangements can be made for their well-being. Purvaram police station carried out a crackdown within its jurisdiction, resulting in the confiscation of five motorcycles lacking proper number plates and equipped with modified silencers on Thursday. Legal measures are underway against the offenders. 
The Porvorim police station plans to sustain its efforts targeting vehicles with tinted glasses, improper number plates and modified silencers contributing to noise pollution. Bardis veterans secured their spot in the next round of the fourth All Goa Veterans Football Tournament by defeating Newim veterans with a narrow 1-0 victory. The thrilling match took place at DYSA ground Kurdorim on Wednesday. The decisive goal was netted by Jude Fernandez, who also claimed the prestigious Man of the Match award for his outstanding performance.